can't believe we're finally getting to do this today. I really need it done by the time my kids come home from school. I think I liked it better before we started messing around with things. Look, no, I'll do this. I just got thrown out of my own kitchen. Time is our biggest challenge. So I went for a walk, which did not help. And so I went for a drive, which helped. I am now calm-ish. Because now I pulled up in front of my house and now it's time to go inside and see what the story is. I didn't find a good place for straws yet. Okay, the extra napkins can go in the basement. So right now we are in the home stretch. We have everything in its place where it's supposed to be. The last thing we have to do is label everything. We have about a half an hour left, but if we work really quickly, I think we can get it done in time. I feel like Zippor was um, frazzled. I was frazzled. We were both very frizzled. So um, I think me being out of the house was a good thing. But now it is time to go back inside and see if things came together nicely. I should not procrastinate anymore and I should get out of the car. Okay, here we go, ready or not. Are we done? We are done. Are we done, we're ready? Yes. It looks so good and clean and neat. So I walk into the kitchen and it's spotless. But now we have to open up the cabinets and see what's in the cabinets. Well, let's show you the inside, come on. This is your new and improved Wow. Pantry. You've got your greens here, snacks down there, easy for kids to reach. Your bread and cake up here now has a designated basket. It's, this is gonna make it so much easier for my kids. It's brilliant, it's brilliant. Some of the major changes I made were by bringing all the food from the holy closet and putting everything into the pantry. We had to make space for her cereals, for her snacks, her cookies, her crackers, all of her baking ingredients. She has a bunch of different healthy flours and rices and greens. I have my canisters! My labeled canisters, I have my labeled containers. I would love for people to implement some of the tips in their own home, but what I did for Hayati was very specific to her personality. We added tons of canisters, took everything out of their original bags and put it into those clear canisters. And that's really not for everyone. And it's okay. It doesn't mean you're disorganized. It just means that Hayati has the time and the patience to refill those canisters and be on top of the situation. It's definitely more maintenance and you have to know yourself if you can keep that up. And then up on top we put a turntable which is great because you can see everything. All her cans and jars, sauces are all up there. One of the great things in the pantry we added was a basket for bread wraps because people tend to just keep that on the counter and she wanted a clean counter look. Okay. Wow. All right, next we have your command center with your mails, bills, paper, everything wow. concise and hidden away. And right below is your junk drawer where you have all 
all your pens and everything you need, all those handy little things that you need in the kitchen. We reorganized the junk drawer. We moved its location closer to the beginning of the kitchen where she keeps her phone and where she keeps her mail. My junk drawer is no longer a junk drawer. There's nothing in there that I'm digging through to find the stuff that I actually need. One of the changes I love doing to a junk drawer is giving it a component of height. So junk drawers are usually flat and the papers end up getting lost on top of each other. But when you have that vertical space, let's say on a cabinet right on top, you'll have all your papers neatly stacked in that cabinet so you can reach everything. We even found a space for chocolate and candy. Somehow, somehow, she found a place for everything. You know what I realized? It doesn't matter what size your kitchen is. Your kitchen could be small, it could be huge. If it's done logically and it's done properly, there's always a place for everything. This is a transformation. Oh! Wow! This is your spices. Organized by color, easy to reach. Add this scooper in here so you always can just grab that measurement instead of pouring the whole thing from the top. Amazing, wow. Okay. Your coffee breakfast station. We have everything you need to start off the day, your vitamins, your teas, your water bottles. With the dairy size, she only had one cabinet. So we left that for her mugs and her dishes. She had her vitamins in there and I felt like it was a good place for it. It just needed to be contained. So we use an acrylic box and then you just pull the whole box off the shelf, grab what you need, and then put the whole thing right back. So it's like easy to use and maintain. I love deep drawers for plastic goods. I wanted to make a drawer for all the plastic goods, an essential place in the kitchen where everybody can just go there, get their plastic stuff, and then we had another drawer of her Tupperware and her iced coffee cups. We sorted through the Tupperware. We really just kept what she needed and we threw out all the mismatched lids and stuff like that. Chayeti had a lot of her oils under the sink in these big, huge containers that were clunky and like spilling all over the place. And I told her one of the methods that I implemented in my own kitchen, which I love, is buying little jars to put the oil into. Like those huge bottles of canola oil are so impractical to pour onto your food. And when you want to just drizzle a little olive oil, it's so much neater and cleaner when you have a small little bottle to work with. She told me she was running up and down the stairs every day to grab that heavy smoothie machine. So I said, we have to find a way to have that machine on hand. We rearranged things under the sink and we found a great spot for it. Oh, Zipporah, I am blown away. My head feels decluttered. Okay, Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll leave Thank you now. You. Enjoy your new space. Thank you so I'll get much. Out of your hair now. This is incredible. This is absolutely amazing. I can't believe this. In here. Oh! It's amazing. Every cabinet that I open, it's organized. There, there's a system. It's wild. You know, you're in a kitchen for 15 years and you're working with what you have and you don't realize what you could have. I'm so excited for Chayezi to use her new space, to love her new space. I love the way it came out. Things flow from one place to the next and things are placed in the zones that you're using them. This is here for a specific reason. This is here for a specific reason. She's explaining everything to me. Everything is accessible. I'm so happy that Chai Yitzi will be able to enjoy this and host and cook and do everything she needs to do in her kitchen. This was such a fun challenge. I enjoyed every minute of it and I loved working with Chai Yitzi. She's a wonderful person. Every project is like a puzzle. It's sort of like a rush hour game where you have to get everything in in the right space in the right amount of time and it has to work. I can't wait for the next challenge because each and every one excites me.
I always check in with my clients even weeks after the job was done because I need to make sure that everything we did works. I cannot tell you how ex it's so exciting to be able to cook now and be and live as a family in such a kitchen. It's the best feeling. I love when I can help a family or an individual and help things run more smoothly. I love it. I'm feeling emotional. I really am because we're, we're kitchen people. It's the heart of our home. It's where we are. It's where we have our, our whole lives are there. My kids do their homework there. We live here. Just to have that space back where we enjoy being in the kitchen together is so priceless. It's so priceless and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to Tzipora that she, she just, wow, that she just was able to give us back this beautiful part of our lives. I, I would not have thought it was possible. It's gonna, it's gonna change our lives. It's going to change our lives.